Welcome to Travels Unfiltered. My name is Ben and today I'll be sharing our recent experience at the Night Safari in Singapore, the world's first nocturnal wildlife park. For more travel tips, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Now before we begin, we think it's important to mention that we are not getting paid by Night Safari, nor do we receive anything in exchange for this video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. We spent an amazing night exploring this wildlife park and even got up close and personal with a range of fascinating animals. Our night at the Night Safari was truly magical and mostly positive. We decided to try the Indian rhinoceros feeding with the photo bundle package, which was surprisingly super affordable. The park is well organised with a range of different themed trails to explore. There's even a 30 minute tram ride that goes around all of the different trails. We suggest starting with one of the walking trails. As we were trying to reach the rhino feeding, we started with the Tasmanian Devil Trail, which features some of Australia's, New Zealand's and New Guinea's amazing wildlife. What we thought would be a quick walk turned into an unexpected one hour adventure. The trail was dimly lit and quiet only hearing animal noises, creating an ambience of walking through a jungle alone at night. Along the way, we spotted a range of different creatures including possums, sugar gliders, woilies, and we even had the pleasure of walking among an unrestricted wallaby area. Once we finished the Tasmanian Devil Trail, we headed onto the East Lodge Trail, which features some of Africa's and Asia's native animals. We encountered a range of animals including lions, tigers, hyenas, and finally, the majestic Indian rhino. This led us to the highlight of our night, the rhino feeding experience. We were given food to feed the rhino and the proximity to these magnificent creatures left us in awe. The staff even filmed our experience on our phones, making it even more special. The feeding packs were reasonably priced and in hindsight, we would have bought more. After this awe-inspiring encounter, we made our way back to the entrance to embark on the next leg of our adventure, the tram tour. The walk back to the entrance took about 20 minutes, giving us time to soak in the memories of the rhino feeding while also giving us some more opportunities to see some other wildlife along the way. Unfortunately, when we arrived at the pickup point, we noticed a long line of visitors waiting for the tram tour. This is where an express pass option would have been incredibly handy, allowing us to skip the queue and make the most of our time. It's definitely something we would consider next time if the night safari were to implement it. After about 35 minutes of waiting, it was finally our turn to board the tram. As we settled into our seats, the thrill of the night safari started to take over. The tram took us around the park and we saw so many animals from a range of regions, from Himalayan tars to Asiatic lions and from Malayan tapirs to elephants. The tram ride was an educational and enjoyable experience. The audio guide provided fascinating insights into each of the animals and their habitats. In general, the night safari is a great experience and believe it or not, we didn't even see half of what the park has to offer. With four different walking trails, a range of activities, shows and presentations, it was impossible to see it all in just one visit. Overall, we highly recommend the night safari in Singapore. It's an awe-inspiring adventure into the world of nocturnal wildlife and you'll be amazed by the diverse range of animals and their mysterious habitats. Great for both children and adults, this is definitely something that you need to see while in Singapore. That wraps up our review of the night safari in Singapore. For information about this experience or to purchase your own night safari tickets, you can check out the link in the description box of this video. If you're traveling to Singapore and you need more travel advice like where to eat or where to stay, then make sure you check out our Singapore playlist. The link is also in the description box of this video. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more travel tips and videos and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.